This is how to make it, and we're fishing Asian carp today. <laughs> Just north of Peoria on the Illinois River, this fish was introduced to help control weeds and parasites. But today, it's one of the most invasive species threatening the Great Lakes. Fishermen have spearheaded efforts to catch them for consumption. And today, I'm joining those efforts to see what it takes. So these carp are an invasive species, obviously. Yeah. How ha has that changed in the years that you've been out here? I mean, the government's sending people out to clean up the rivers. That's obviously affecting you. The species has changed. We used to be carp from buffalo and catfish. Now we got these, and like I said, they're tearing our nets up, and it's just a lot different fishing. And, but I mean, there's more fish, but they was big. Now they're getting smaller. So I don't know what's going to happen. I think, I think they'll end up being like a zebra mussel, and I think they'll deplete yourself. It's maybe a good thing for the lakes. We don't want them getting too far into the lake. Well, that's that's what they're worried about. You know, they getting like Lake Michigan and places. It's it's hard to tell what will happen. Kills there. off the whole ecosystem. Yeah, it probably will. It probably will. What do they think it would have been if we didn't fish it? Yeah. What would this place look like? You could you could walk on them. And you're out here every day, and other people are out here every day, yep, and yep. still oh, yeah. they're on top of each other. It look like you've done anything. They just got smaller. <laughs> so we're casting some nets right now. We're going to leave them out for about an hour. <laughs> Let's talk about my fishing experience. It's at zero. I'm a little scared. There's fish jumping out of the water. I think it's only going to get worse from here. They'd run the fish down, it will block off the back. That way when they're down there, we can hope to get trapped in there. Then we can work on them. Otherwise, they're too fast for you though. They'll, they'll get down and see the net and they'll go back and they won't turn around. So we just made a big circle. They're closed in. We're making noise right now. How's that heavy raincoat working out? <laughs> I'm always unprepared. <laughs> what a dumb jacket. <laughs> so we're gonna pull up some nets soon. I haven't gotten slapped in the face yet. So I just need two of you to lay across here real quick. <laughs> oh geez, it's happening. <laughs> He catches better than you, Caleb. <laughs> How much do you bring in on an average day in the summer? Fish? Yeah. I try. We try to stay at 10, 12,000. That's pounds. Pounds that, of fish. That's right now when it's tough. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> now, I kind of like it. <laughs> he does not want to quit, I can tell. You can't quit a job in the middle. <laughs> this is a good one. <laughs> We're there! Oh my god! There it is. <laughs> <laughs> this was awesome. <laughs> I turned into a different person for a minute. This is where the fish get broken down and eventually sold to market. After they're weighed, they go into ice water and rinsed. You can't let them get too warm because as I say, they're a soft belly. Wow. And we will fillet these and cut these into steaks and these do go for more consumption than anything yeah. else. Whereas your silver carp can get grinded up into pet food. Oh wow! There's a there's actually a place in Colorado that's that Blue Mountain pet food. Yeah. And these get grinded that's up and like going there. That's like one of the top dog food yeah. companies. What's most in demand? It depends on the time frame. It's a seasonal thing. So like a lot of times you'll have like grass carp will be in demand when we start to fall off because of the human consumption. Yeah. Whereas the yellow carp is always in demand. That's always in demand overseas. So we send a lot of that overseas. Wow. In containers. As we put the fish on the line, we go through them each individually. And what they're doing is they're rinsing them, run them under cold water. Even though we've had them, 
we still cool them again, and then they weigh them, and then we put ice in the box so they stay fresh, and then we box them up and put them on the truck. So this is the fish that we brought in? Yes. These are silvers, and what they're doing is they're filleting them right now. So they're getting band sawed in half to get it easier yep. to fillet clean. Yep. You fillet them? Yes. You sell them whole? We sell them round. Um, a lot of people do like the round fish. They like the eggs inside the fish. I'm sneaking in here. So this is the silver carp, Got okay? It. And he's gonna show you his process and how he does it. Yeah, so everyone talks about how bony these fish are. Yeah. Are they harder to fillet? Or uh, is it no. same deal? Same. It's just bony to eat. Yeah. yeah. So you don't really you can't really tell right now, it's when you're eating it that it's hard to get all the pin bones out. You're gonna be eating some. I'm gonna try to break this down like any round fish that I've handled, although I've never broken down a carp, so. So I've filleted a carp. <laughs> I mean, you feel all those bones in there. You can't see them, I've said that a thousand times, but it's certainly more bonier, more bony than any other round fish I've filleted. So why, why do you personally not want to eat it? We don't like to work as hard to eat our food. Americans don't yep. want to work that hard, right? So they don't want to take the time to actually fish around the bones. Do you think this will eventually catch on and we will be eating carp in this country just like any other fish? Yeah, I think a lot of it's market driven to where we're at in the market. Yeah. Because when you smoke a carp, like a yellow carp, right. it actually tastes like ham. Thank you so much for taking me through your facility. No problem. Um, it's, today was a really rewarding and satisfying day for me because I often, I'm only on the receiving end of a nice clean <laughs> box of iced fish. I never get to see how it gets to that state. So this is a crazy operation you have going here and I learned a <laughs> tremendous amount and I hope everybody did. Eat carp, maybe? Thanks for watching this episode of How to Make It. For more episodes, click here. All right, so this is your Ohio skillet. And you're up. Beautiful. Woo! Woo! My entire body is like tense.